Hello guys, I am Dr. Swapil, your brain and spine doctor. Today we will discuss regarding one of the most common cause of disability in the world which is causing problem to a major extent to which can change lives in seconds of many of the patient. It is nothing but stroke which can affect your brain at any time. So what exactly is a stroke? A stroke is a condition where the blood flow to your brain is affected and that is where the problem starts coming to your brain. So there are two types of stroke which we will be commonly having. First is the ischemic stroke where the blood supply stops to the brain. Second is hemorrhagic stroke where a bleed may be happen or a blood clot may be there inside your brain. So what generally causes brain stroke? One of the most common conditions which leads to a brain stroke is a high blood pressure. Most of the patients who neglect their high blood pressure changes, who don't get evaluated, when the patient may have a headache, most of the time it is always better to go to a nearest center and get its blood pressure checked. Most of the patient have stoppage of their, they stop their medications on their own without consulting a doctor. And that's where suddenly the BP shoots sometimes nearly to 190 or 200, which is normally supposed to be 120 by 80. The BP goes to 200 and that's where the chances of having a stroke increases. Second cause is the diabetes, uncontrolled blood sugars. Third is the obesity second sedentary lifestyle or some patients have a genetic predisposition if a patient had previous history of stroke the chances of having a stroke increases other than that improper sleep then smoking also are the leading cause of stroke so how do you come to know if any of your patient or any of your known is having a stroke how do you should detect first is you should look for his balance whether the patient is not able to maintain his balance properly or if there is like blurring of vision which is there second what you have to check is his arms you have to check if there is a weakness in hand which like the patient was able to hold his objects properly before is not able to hold the object properly now while walking also he is not able to maintain his balance properly sometimes what happens is you have to check the patient's speech also there is slowing of speech or like the patient tells that his tongue is getting heavy and he is not able to pronounce the words properly that is where it is a very high chance that the patient must have got a stroke so what you can do if there is a suspicion of stroke is definitely you should call for the help and take him to the nearest center where the neuro services are available so once you reach to the hospital the role of the doctor starts first is we will generally get a ct scan or mri scanning of the brain that's where we come to know which whether there is a stroke is there or not which part of the area is involved and how long the stroke has happened so if generally if you are lucky enough if the proper services are available and like you reach to the hospital within four hours there is definitely an option of thrombolysis where the blood clots and all will be thrombolyzed or dissolved and there will be a reversal of symptoms you can recover totally if there is you have reached or the detection has been a bit late and you reach late to the hospital because of some of the other reason so then like the main aim of the treatment is whatever the area of brain has been damaged the doctor tries so that the other area of the brain damage doesn't happen don't have a second stroke all the area of damage doesn't increase so what does basically treatment after six hours if you reach what is the treatment options that are available first is the blood thinners will be given so that the clots will be dissolved in case if the area of stroke or the brain damage is so high that it is compressing and pressing on the other parts of the brain then there comes a role of the neurosurgeon where we do a decompressive craniotomy where the part of the brain, bone which is outside the brain is removed and it is kept in the bone bank or in the patient abdomen so that it releases the intracranial pressure and definitely the area of the secondary damage which happens to the brain is reduced the last question which we will be discussing is can the stroke be prevented yes definitely it can be prevented if you are diagnosed what all things you need to do is if you are diagnosed with hypertension make sure you check your bp blood pressure regularly you don't skip your medications you have a regular diet good eating habits you have a proper sleep as far as possible try to avoid stress don't gain too much of weight keep an eye on your blood sugars have a proper diet and definitely this good lifestyle will help and regular consultation will you, with your doctor will regularly help you to avoid stroke in future. Thank you.